Now, people across the state closely watched the race for control of Minnesota's 8th Congressional District. Pete Stauber beat out Crosby native Joe Radinovich for the seat left open after the retirement of Rick Nolan. Reporter Rachel Johnson was at Radinovich's election night watch party, and she has more. Family and supporters of Joe Radinovich gathered at the Arrowwood Lodge in Baxter Tuesday night to watch results come in. This is the end of a long uh, several months of effort and I think everybody is ready for election season to be over but uh, we're feeling cautiously optimistic tonight it's going to be a very close race we expect. As results started to come in, Pete Stauber, the Republican candidate from the Duluth area, took an early lead. It, it really comes down to kind of maybe specific places in certain counties and maybe, you know, we want to hit a certain number in St. Louis County, but um, it, 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 every election is a little bit different. The current congressman from the 8th District was there to support the candidate who previously worked for his campaign. He ran a very good campaign, um, strong campaign, positive on the issues, protecting Social Security, uh, protecting Medicare, getting health care, prescription costs under control. The Radinovich team remained hopeful as the night progressed, even as Stauber held on to his lead. I, I feel still confident for Joe. Um, my election contest, you know, 16, 14, 12, um, we're always about this far behind at this point in the night. At around 11.40, Radinovich trailing addressed the crowd, not conceding, but thanking his supporters for the help that they gave him along the way. This is uh, a close race. Uh, we have many precincts left to go, um, but there is no doubt that uh, it looks like the odds will be long. When all precincts in the 8th District were in, Pete Stopper had solidified his win with 51% of the votes to Radinovich's 45%. We know that even if it's a loss, that we are not defeated, that the things that we stand for are not defeated that the ideals that we hold are not defeated, yes. that the values that we stand for are not defeated. While the Radinovich team was disappointed, he thanked his supporters and was hopeful for the future. We are going to get back up and we are going to keep fighting because our community requires it, because our state requires it, and because our country requires it. We have an opportunity to stand up and to keep fighting on behalf of every child growing up across the state, to fight on behalf of a better future for everybody, to fight on behalf of the idea that our best days are yet to come. Reporting from Baxter, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. And Pete Stauber will become the second Republican in 70-plus uh, years to be elected to represent Minnesota's 8th Congressional District. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.